revision charts, highlighter pens and sticky notes around the room are some of the methods students use to ensure information stays in their minds. It's the time of the year where students are poring over their books, trying to ensure they're prepared for their exams. Most of the schools offer students a variety of ways to help them remember the content of their lessons and get good grades. These include rereading notes, summarizing them and highlighting the important points. Actually, we advise our students uh, before the tests they have to be ready day by day with their teacher, they have to do their assignments daily, give more attention during the class and uh, practicing. Uh, actually our teachers give different worksheets to students to be ready to different kinds of uh, questions and uh, we always we try to put them in the uh, same exams atmosphere in order to feel more confident, uh, trust by themselves to do tests uh, well. And uh, before the test uh, actually uh, students must be uh, practice well at home, uh, do as much as possible different questions, uh, read well, uh, memorize uh, uh, teacher notes and uh, something like that. So by this way students will be ready to do any kind of tests. Exam stress is an unfortunate part of life for many students at school. Students getting ready for exams that require concentration and strong memory often feel a lot of pressure which can result in nervousness. All that can disappear in a moment by relaxing, planning the exam day, practicing on old exams and organizing study groups with friends. Well, I listen to the teacher whatever the teacher says, I just listen to it and I take notes from the teacher and if there is something important I highlight it and in the home I study everything written in the weekly plan and revise the notes and do and solve the revision sheet uh, so that I could test my level and if I have something wrong uh, and I don't understand it well I offer well I uh, I mean I ask my parents for some help first I uh, participate on the teacher then when I return home I understand everything and I sleep early to refresh uh, myself in the morning and I eat healthy food to also refresh my mind and I don't waste my time on watching TV and playing so I study and then when I finish all my studying I go and play and do everything what I want. Some of the students their memory goes blank during an exam and that's an evidence of memory failure caused by fear and worries. To avoid that, the students have to be relaxed, stay prepared for the exam, stick to the truth and stand confident. So, he must believe that failing does not make him a failure. <laughs> Success is a building up that needs uh, daily work and efforts done by students, teachers, administration and parents as well. Su success is not a hit of mystery and its main base is planning. The trap that most students fell in is studying only before exams in a short period of time and they find themselves in front of or facing mountains of information that they couldn't manage. I advise them to study, they should plan and the planning includes studying on daily basis. The exam revision has a good effect on the student's memory, but it should be easy and entertaining to keep their information fresh. The first and the most important step is not to turn themselves into a revision ghost. Do lots of practicing exams paper, find the right environment to revise and stick revision notes all around your house. Examination forms a nightmare for some students at school, but they can turn it into a happy dream and sweet reality by studying well, revising lessons and leaving fear beside. For the Saudi Morning Show, this is Nidao, the KSA2, Abu Dhabi.